do just a little tiny something with this real quick. We have an H1. Let's go ahead and throw a button in here. Oh man, that was not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, I have a button. Let's say click me. And now we're going to do the JavaScript portion. We could put a script tag right in here and just type the JavaScript in the HTML file, but we're going to ke always keep it in a separate file. So create a new file in the same directory. We'll call it index.js to go along with index.html. If you want, you can go ahead and create index.css as well. <coughs> now in our HTML file, we need to tell it about those things. So we're going to link to the JavaScript file at the bottom of the body, so just before the close body tag. Make a script tag. Emit abbreviation is the thing you want for tab completion here. Um, if you look at the tools section on the website for the class, you'll see I created a separate um, uh, keyboard shortcut command space, or control space rather, um, instead of tab just so it'll always use Emmet instead of whatever the default might be. So I hit control space and it expands it like that. So script, and then you add an attribute called source src. And you just point that at your JavaScript file, in our case, index.js. Now before I go any further, I'm going to try to make sure that works. So inside index.js, I'm just going to say console.log the string it works. <coughs> I'm going to open my developer tools in the browser. Again, on the Mac, that is Option Command J. On Windows, it is Shift Control J. Make sure my console is selected among the tabs here. And then I'm going to refresh my HTML file. Um, I'm actually in the wrong directory here um, because I moved my project. Ah, where am I? Index.html. There you go. So again, Option Command J or Shift Control J, and there it says it works. Therefore, my uh, JavaScript is in fact linked from there. So similarly, to make sure that the uh, CSS works, I'm going to add just one thing. I'm going to say body font hyphen family colon sans serif semicolon. The, um, the default font here it looks like Times New Roman. So in index HTML up in the head, just before the closing head tag, I'm going to add a link, L-I-N-K. And that is an empty element. It does not have a closing tag. It cannot have a closing tag. Link rel equals style sheet, href equals and then the path to our CSS, which is simply index.css. And if that worked and I refresh the page, I should see that the font changes. It did, so it worked. Yeah. Because one's a style sheet and one is a, a JavaScript. Um, you know, mo for the most part, basically, if they'd been thinking ahead in 1995, they would have made this something like link rel equals script or something, but that didn't exist yet. So uh, you have two totally different syntaxes. And you put the JavaScript in the body at the end so that if you're trying to get DOM elements, they will already have rendered on the page before you try to get them. So that's why we put JavaScript at the bottom. And we want style sheet at the top so that it loads that before it starts rendering the page. So if that much works, I think you have enough skills in your arsenal to uh, make the button actually do something. So instead of doing it in class, we're going to make that the homework. So homework. Make the button change the text of the heading. Do 
Bonus credit. Hmm. Add multiple headings to the page and make the button change the second one. And this will be, the homework will be posted on the website. And I'll pick, pick, paste it in Slack as soon as we're done with this. Super mega bonus credit. Add a form to the page. Add a text input to the form. Update the heading with the text that you type in the text input. Haven't taught you how to do that, so you'll have to do some research, but I know you can do it. I believe in you. Yes, exactly. I am creating a new channel in Slack called S1 Morning that is just for you guys and not the afternoon. I'm going to paste this in there right now. Whichever one. I mean, the second one since that was the second level of credit. Um, and... Uh, by the way, if you do every level of homework, make a separate commit when you finish each level of homework so that I can see them all separately. Um, I'm also going to paste in a link to my code here, which is uh, nothing particularly special just yet, but here it is. Um, pasting that in Slack. Again, this is the S1 Morning Channel, which you should all join. Um, And the code pin project, I'm also pasting in Slack. Thank you, Sasha. Somebody joined the Slack channel. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so it'll be something like should be extra in bootcamp eighteen dot slack dot com. Um, and I think that's all the time we're going to have for today. Let me um, commit this much. Add CSS and JS files. All right, I know you can do it. I believe in you. If you are have tr having trouble linking up to GitHub, please come to the study session and ask for help. All right. All right, have some lunch. See you tomorrow.